Hi, thank you for joining us again as we consider the question, why study the Old Testament? In earlier sessions, we've seen that the Old Testament often seems very distant from modern life because it was written so long ago. But we've also seen that Jesus and the Apostle Paul clearly taught that the Old Testament is relevant for our Christian lives. We should be ready to learn all we can about Old Testament teachings and to apply them to our day. Sometimes that's easy, but often it's quite challenging. So in this session, we'll identify some of the most basic steps we should follow as we apply the Old Testament today. Now, let's turn to our third main topic in this lesson, the task of making applications of the Old Testament to our lives today. It's one thing to say, as we should, that the Old Testament is relevant for Christians today, but it's quite another to put this truth into practice. Sometimes it's not difficult to see how the Old Testament applies to us, but at other times, it's very difficult because of the distance between us and the Old Testament. Now, it's reassuring that the Holy Spirit helps followers of Christ study and apply the Old Testament. He teaches us in ways that go far beyond what we could accomplish in our own strength. But it's our responsibility to study the Old Testament as deeply as we can so that we can apply it rightly to our lives today. The Apostle Paul spoke of this responsibility to Timothy. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Paul said, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. As Paul put it here, to be approved, we must approach the Old Testament as a worker, ergates in Greek, meaning a laborer who works diligently to rightly handle God's Word. We'll look into the modern application of the Old Testament in three steps. First, we'll identify the challenges we must overcome as we try to apply the Old Testament to our lives. Second, we'll consider the connections that make it possible to apply it to our day. And third, we'll examine the developments that we must acknowledge as we apply it. Let's begin with the challenges we face as we apply the Old Testament to our lives today. As we saw earlier in this lesson, God first gave the Old Testament to His people who lived long ago so that they could live by it in their own times. But as we've also seen, He gave these scriptures to us as well so that we could live by them in our own times. But we live in a world that is very different from the world of the Old Testament. There's a large gap between us and the Old Testament that we must take into view as we apply the Old Testament. Listen to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11, where the Apostle Paul summarized the challenge of Christian application of the Old Testament. There he wrote, these things happened to them as an example, but they were written down for our instruction, on whom the end of the ages has come. From the larger context of this passage, we learn that Paul had in mind Old Testament narratives about Israel's exodus from Egypt and how they applied to the Corinthian Christians. Notice that he highlighted at least three things. First, he spoke of the events in the distant past, saying, these things happened. They were written down. Second, Paul referred to himself and his fellow Christians at Corinth, saying that the stories were written down for our instruction. And third, Paul acknowledged that much had happened between the Old Testament days and the Christian age by describing Christ's followers as those on whom the end of the ages has come. Christians live at the end of the ages of history, in the times of the fulfillment of history. The Apostles' words here disclose the challenge of modern application of the Old Testament. I love what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 10. Uh, so, in 1 Corinthians 10, he's reflecting on the history of Israel and the fact that these, this history is written down in the Old Testament scriptures. 
And he says to the Corinthians, to, to largely former pagans, to Gentiles, these things happened and they were written down for our instruction. So scripture is authoritative over people, uh, e even though, you know, in, in the first instance, uh, they, those people were not in view. But God had them in view. Uh, God is sovereign over the recording of scripture. And in, in his mind, he can intend, even though it's written to a, a different audience initially, he can intend it to be addressed to us. As Paul's words suggest, to meet the challenges of applying the Old Testament to our day, we must deal with three things. First, we must understand the ancient world of the Old Testament. Second, we must consider the historical developments between us and that ancient world. And third, we must bring what we learn through these developments to our world. Consider first how important it is to pay attention to the ancient world of the Old Testament. One of our principal tasks is to interpret the Old Testament as much as we can in terms of the ancient world to which it was first given. But even if we work hard at this, we will never do it perfectly. We're so deeply influenced by the world in which we live today that we'll always come to the ancient text of Scripture with modern predispositions that we can't fully escape. Unfortunately, this fact is often taken as a justification for simply reading what we believe as modern people into the Old Testament. But to do this makes the Scriptures subject to us rather than us subject to the Scriptures. So while we can't fully escape our modern biases, all faithful students should study Old Testament passages diligently to understand their original meaning as much as possible. Put simply, the original meaning of an Old Testament passage is the impact that God and His inspired writers designed the text to have on its first audience. In a very important sense, we're not hearing God and His inspired writers speaking directly to us. We're overhearing them speaking to others. So as we study the Old Testament, it's crucial to ask questions like, what were the priorities of the first audience? What did they believe? What were their situations? How did God call them to submit to Him in their day? Answering these kinds of questions isn't always easy, but pursuing original meaning sets the course for all modern application. Once we give adequate attention to the ancient world of the Old Testament, we need to face the challenge of dealing with the historical developments that have taken place between Old Testament times and our day. Unlike the holy books of some other religions, the theological teachings of the Old Testament developed over time. The Old Testament refers to the many ways God revealed truths about Himself, the world, and people, beginning in primeval times. It then continues with God's revelations in the days of Israel's patriarchs, in the days of Moses, and during the time when Israel entered the Promised Land. But it doesn't stop there. We also see God's revelations in the era of Israel's monarchy, during the tragedy of Israel's exile from the Promised Land, and finally, in the times of struggle that occurred after some Israelites returned to the Promised Land. It was not as if God revealed something to His people once and never said anything related to that theme or topic again. On the contrary, within the Old Testament itself, God continued to reveal more and more. Beyond this, very significant developments in biblical faith also appear in the teachings of the New Testament. The New Testament acknowledges the authority of the Old Testament, but it also reveals further developments in New Testament times. So, every time we apply a passage of the Old Testament to our lives today, we must move beyond its original meaning and consider the manifold historical developments that took place between the ancient Old Testament world and our modern world. Biblical faith didn't remain the same through the centuries, but it was not as if God started one religion, discarded it, and then replaced it with another. 
The Bible represents one growing religion or faith. Theologians often describe the developments of biblical faith as organic. It grew much like a tree grows from a seed to full maturity. When you think about it, a seed looks very different from the mature tree that grows from it. At every stage of growth, there are differences, but it remains one organism, one plant. In much the same way, later portions of the Old Testament are different from earlier portions, and the New Testament is different from the Old Testament. But these differences reflect organic growth. Our faith grew from one seed planted long ago, matured throughout the Old Testament, and reached maturity in the New Testament. There is a progress in how God reveals himself. The Bible shows this, what we call organic growth, where doctrines and themes and ideas about God grow from seed to full form. And so the Bible even talks about its own progressive message. And so, yes, there is a form of progression within uh, the Bible and within the Pentateuch. Uh, it's, a, it's a movement from uh, the beginnings of God's revelation to the full flowering, if you will, if you can imagine a, a time-lapse photo of a flower blossoming. As we can see, to face the challenges of modern application, we must not only pay attention to the ancient world of the Old Testament and the historical developments that took place in the scriptures themselves. We must also remain firmly committed to the fact that God inspired the Old Testament to be written with our world in mind. As Paul put it in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11, the Old Testament was written down for our instruction. This fact requires us to recognize the responsibilities we have as followers of Christ in the modern world. If we're going to apply the Old Testament effectively today, we must always ask ourselves questions like these. How does the original meaning of an Old Testament passage apply to our world? How does it address the kinds of people we are and the situations we face? What are our weaknesses and strengths? These kinds of questions are crucial to the process of applying the Old Testament today.